Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here, this question is asking the density of AG is 10.6 grams per centimeter cube. Using a face centered cubic structure, what is the atomic radius of AG and the edge length of the unit cell? Okay, here they are asking for the atomic radius that is R, and also they are asking for the edge length that is X. Okay. And when we deal with face centered cubic structure, you have to know the x actually edge length is equal to square root of 8r. If you want to know how did we derive this one, you can watch my previous video. I have explained everything about it. Okay. And here they have provided the density. Density is equal to 10.6 grams per centimeter cube. Grams per centimeter cube. And density is equal to mass divided by volume right here what we can do is we can find out the volume and then we can find out the x because when we deal with face centered cubic structure we are dealing with a cube and if we can find the volume volume is going to be h length cube because each side of the cube is h length like x so x cube is the volume so if we solve for volume it's easy to find out the x value right now let's go ahead and find out the volume volume is going to be mass divided by the density okay now let's see how we can find out the mass so in when we deal with face centered cubic structure we have to know four atoms per unit cell in a face centered cubic structure four atoms per unit cell if you want to know how it is if i draw a cube if this is a face centered cubic structure okay each corner has one eighth of the atom Okay, each corner has one eighth of the atom, and we have eight corner, one eight times eight, and each center of the face centered cubic structure has a half of the atom. So each face has half of the atom. There are six faces, so plus six times half. That's three, right? So there are four atoms per unit cell, four atoms per unit cell in a face centered cubic structure. So we have to multiply 4, but uh, let's uh, create the equation. 1, I'm trying to find the mass first. So 1 unit cell. <coughs> 1 unit cell. 1 unit cell has 4 atoms. 4 atoms per unit cell times the atomic mass of uh, ag silver is 107.87 atomic mass unit okay so this is one atom of ag one atom of ag has this much atomic mass unit then we want to convert this one into gram one atomic mass unit is equivalent to 1.6605 times 10 to the power of minus 24 gram and from this one we can find out the mass of this silver okay silver atom and there are four atoms so we multiplied by the four so this is going to give us the complete mass now let's get rid of this one okay here we have the mass and also we have to divide this one by the density okay so the density is given 10.6 grams per centimeter cube so if you want to divide we put the centimeter cube on the numerator and 10.6 gram so in one centimeter cube we have 10.6 gram so you can see this is in the denominator that's why when we multiply we have to put it in the denominator and then I want to convert this one into picometer because this is going to be a very small value. It's better to convert this one into picometer. So first to convert this one into meter. Centimeter, like 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter. So if I want to convert into meter, I have to multiply by meter and divide by 100 centimeter. Since this is a cube, we have to cube this one. And then I'm going to convert this one into picometer. Picometer is 10 to the power of minus 12. So if we want to convert, we have to divide. 1 times 10 to the power of minus 12 picometer. 1 picometer is equal to 1 times 10 to the power of minus 12 meter. And then this is also cube. And if you calculate this one, you are going to get 6.75 
9 times 10 to the power of 7 picometer cube. So this is going to be the volume. And we know that volume is equal to x cube for a cube. H length times 3, like x cube is the volume, right? So now we are interested in h length. That's the question. The question here is asking for the radius and the h length. So we are interested in finding our x value. In order to find this one, we have to multiply this one by 1 over 3. And this one also 1 over 3 in order to get rid of this cube. And if you, like you, we have to power by 1 over 3. Or we can cube root. Cube root, same thing, right? And if you find out this one, you are going to get 407.3 picometer. So this is our h length. This is one of the answer. Now the second question is asking for the radius. Now we know that h length of a face centered cubic structure is given by x is equal to square root of 8r. So from this one we can find the radius that is x divided by square root of 8. x we already know that is 407.3 picometer divided by square root of 8. You will get 144 approximately 144 picometer and that's going to be the radius. Radius is equal to 144 picometer and that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.